Hey marketing agency leaders, today I've got a story about an agency veteran that's going to leave you feeling inspired, motivated, and armed with valuable insights to take your agency to the next level. I'm David, and in this episode of the Agency Combinator series, where we highlight inspiring agency stories, we're diving into the remarkable journey of Digital Hitman, an SEO agency based in Perth, Western Australia. Now, we all dream of becoming the go-to agency in our field, right? Well, Brad Russell, the brains behind Digital Hitman, had that very dream back in 2016 when they opened their doors. And let me tell you, it didn't happen overnight, but it did happen. In this episode, we'll dive into what Brad had to do to take his agency from zero to an award-winning agency with 21 employees and over 85 clients. 12 years ago, Brad Russell was just a regular guy with an entrepreneurial itch that couldn't be ignored. So what did he do? He started a successful eBay store. Brad then landed a gig at Australia's largest kitchenware retailer, Kitchen Warehouse. After five years at Kitchen Warehouse, Brad was ready for the next big thing. He had honed his SEO skills and was eager to put them to use. So what was his next step? He started Digital Hitman in 2016 when he landed his first major client, a local eco-accommodation provider in Perth. How did that happen, you ask? Well, it all began at a networking event where he met the owner of this accommodation business. They talked, they connected, and voila, an opportunity arose and Brad was ready to seize it. But it was just the early stages for Brad. Here's where the story gets even more exciting. Brad realized that he could take on more clients, but he couldn't continue working from his living room in pajamas, as comfortable as it may be. He knew it was time to make some operational changes and boy did he. He got himself a proper office and started building a team. As the team grew, they found themselves at a pivotal point when Brad's former business partner tapped into their social network and connected with a local influencer. Talk about a game changer. This influencer had connections all over Perth and suddenly, Digital Hitman's growth took off like a rocket. Client referrals started pouring in and they began working with healthcare industry clients. Their reputation began to skyrocket and people were calling Brad left and right. Okay, now here comes the real juicy part. The challenges and solutions to building a dream team, something all agency owners can relate to. We're putting in long hours, particularly, you know, me and my, and my business partner. And we were just finding that some of the results started to drop off slightly because we just couldn't service those clients to the capacity that we needed to. So ultimately, our goal was never to be a, a burn and churn agency. So we basically wanted to have really long relationships with our clients. You know, it's easier to keep a client and find a new one. So. Uh, we wanted to continually get really good results, provide good service. So we had to make sure that we, our, our service and our results didn't suffer as a result of staffing issues. As the agency continued to grow, clients kept rolling in, but there was a problem. They were stretched thin and the team couldn't handle the workload. This, my friends, is a classic good problem to have, but it's still a problem. We really needed someone yesterday. So for us to put the, uh, the job ads out and then um, spend four to six weeks going through all the applicants and you know, getting them in the process and mm -hmm. ultimately not finding anyone, yeah, it was a bit disheartening. So what could Brad do? He knew he needed more highly qualified team members and he needed them fast. He had to follow a series of steps to land right though. They put out some job placement ads, but it seemed like they were attracting mostly junior candidates who needed extensive training. Frustration was brewing, and that's when Brad hired a recruitment agency that helped them find and hire four full-time staff members who are still with them today. Yeah, you heard me right. Hiring agencies made a big difference. Brad considers it the best decision he's ever made. Don't just do the usual job placement ads. You can, you, you can engage the services of these other employment agencies, and they will do the hard work for you. They'll, they'll feel through the lower level candidates they'll only present the high level ones to you you obviously pay quite a decent sum for this service but if you can get really high quality full-time employees then it might be in its worth it but hiring top talent was only the first step. Brad knew he needed to upskill his team to ensure consistent quality across the board. Brad knew he had to not only train to retain his customers, but also his team. It was just about setting really clear expectations, the right foundations, and ultimately when we did hire someone, the right training in place to make sure that they could grow and grow with the company. As I said, SEOs do SEO slightly different, and I'm happy to um, bring all these um, collective ideas in, but ultimately, 
Additionally, we had to provide uh, training in various areas so they got up to speed really quickly. So he created an internal training program. Initially, they relied on makeshift Google documents, but as they expanded, they needed something more substantial. That's when they formalized their leadership team with specific department leads. This hierarchy provided clarity and streamlined training processes. It empowered the team members to know where to turn for guidance and decision making. By delegating training processes to department heads, Brad could focus on growing the agency instead of getting bogged down in day-to-day -day operations. It's all about creating a culture based on trust and career growth. By just giving giving my staff uh, a voice and letting them share their own thoughts or ideas, ultimately I would have the, the last call and say it was a good idea or not. But I just feel that when someone comes into a company um, and starts working on a, a particular project, I'm not a micromanager. I really want to give them a voice and, and let them shine. New hires are quickly immersed in this culture, receiving training from the heads of their respective departments. And guess what? The training doesn't stop after the probationary period. Brad understands that the digital marketing industry is constantly evolving, so they prioritize ongoing education. We also have regular internal training sessions. So once a month, we'll do a, a really thorough sort of, I guess you call it a workshop. Again, we'll pick a particular topic or a new trend in SEO. Um, myself and the head of SEO, Jess, will prepare content surrounding that will prepare a little workshop and that will be a really hands-on sort of experience where we go through and show examples. As a result of this focus on ongoing education, the team saw a boost in employee engagement and the addition of more service offerings for clients, which further spurred their growth. It's just a great way to grow the, the business itself. So by encouraging employees to hone their skills or develop further skills in other areas, you can offer additional services to your clients or even within SEO itself, you know, there's going to be new areas that pop up and new new features on Google, for example, that you want to target. So you're able to grow your business by offering um, additional services to your clients. With all the focus on culture and training, Brad has seen only one employee leave Digital Hitman in the past years, a testament to their workplace culture and recognition program. Speaking of recognition, Brad has been focused on maximizing his team's potential. They're continuously revamping their training program. But for now, they're basking in the local recognition they received. Digital Hitman achieved notable recognition at the recent SEMrush Australia Search Awards, proudly securing the Best Blog Award and claiming the runner-up position in the competitive Best SEO Campaign category, as well as third in the Best Integrated Campaign category. It all comes down to years of dedication and setting benchmarks for top-notch results in the local community. So there you have it, folks, the incredible journey of Digital Hitman, from a small team of two to a thriving agency with 21 employees and 85 clients. Brad Russell's story teaches us about the power of investing in training and recognition to build a dream team of marketers. There's more to this story. Get the complete picture on the Digital Hitman's training methodology on our blog. The link is in the description below. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your fellow agency folks. Until next time, keep pushing the boundaries and make your agency dreams come true. Thank you.